Hello everybody, it is IUKiola5 here with another episode of Let's Play, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards, right. Uh, in the last episode, we, uh, took on Weevil, I think, and did all that noise. Um, right. Um, so now we have to go, uh, I don't remember. Uh, I just woke up, so I'm a little tired. Okay, good, we have new places open to us now that we, uh, defeated Weevil. Uh, at the park. But now you'll notice the uh, people are gone. Like, strings is gone. And where, where do we go now? Right. Okay. Next, we can go to the bridge or the building. We should go to the building first? I mean, we can go here for Mai. Okay, so we can fight Mai now. Uh, which I didn't know we could do, actually. Alright, so let's fight Mai. Uh, mm. got some pretty crap cards in all honesty. Skill Angel, good opening move that we usually get. We usually get that a lot, which is weird. All right, interesting, interesting. Bring out our number ten, and then we're good for a slice. Nice, slice, nice. Ha 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 ha. All right. Um, yeah. So I guess we're just kind of playing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm going to defend with this guy. Get some good uh, damage in here. Six more turns and we win regardless because we have a thousand point attacker. Um, oh yeah, we finally have... Um... Ooh, interesting. Uh, anyway, we finally have uh, audio in the game now, so yay. <laughs> that wasn't in there before. Uh, because I didn't know how to use, <coughs> excuse me, didn't know how to use uh, DX Tori to record the game audio, but I fixed it, so cool. Um, oh god, Petite Dragon. Things crazy. No, just kidding. Uh, right. Let's uh, destroy it. Ain't nobody get time for your Petite Dragon. All right. Yeah, that's right. Think straight it'll disappear. Ooh, pot of greed, not bad. Let's go just card so we can do pot of greed. Interesting. Alright, well we're just gonna sacrifice this guy and bring out this thing. And we win, I think. Yeah, we we have easily enough to win. We did it. Alright, Maya was not as hard as I thought she was going to be, uh, and I didn't really think we could duel her at this time, but I guess we could. And we got 8,000 Domino, and a Harpy Lady, which is a really good card. Uh, one, no sacrifice, 13, 14, or 1,300 attack, 1,400 defense. Uh, of course, she does cost 161 to put in your deck, so, gotta have a pretty high duelist level to even have her. Uh, ooh, Joey Wheeler. Yeah. Okay, so now Wheeler will leave and fun times to be had there. Alright, next we want to move on to the bridge. Oh, what's this? A battle going down? Worms, get out of my sight. Qua. Yeah, Kaiba, you're going to be all these guys easy. These guys are scrubs. Kaiba is actually a pretty hard match, because we do have to fight him eventually, and he's... I'm going to say right now, that's going to be a difficult one. Um, so yeah. Urk, he's too strong, says Okaiba. And if you go past the screen, he'll go, be gone. But if we follow this, no, I want to go this way. Yeah, here we go. Strings. You, Yuki Ola 5, duel. Right. <coughs> and you have this awesome Stego. What are we looking at here? This could actually be a pretty difficult duel as well. Because he does have a, a card up his sleeve. I'll tell you that right now. See, like right there. He's already got a monster with 10 on the field. They're all fiends. So we need a light type creature, I believe, is what it is. Um, ah, crap. We're so screwed. I'm just going to say that right now. We're kind of screwed. Dro door over. Ooh. Okay. 
activate the Witch's Apprentice's effect and get a nice power boost there. Ah ha ha, now you're running. Alright. Of course, I can still only kill one at a time here. I'm gonna attempt to attack this one. Nope, that didn't do me any good. Turn into Harinotun. Draw. Crap. I am drawing nothing good. Well, if I keep playing cards in defense mode, I should be able to <coughs> whittle down his cards too. Needle ball. Needle ball bullcrap. Alright. Defend, attack with Witch's Apprentice. I'm really scared here, because he's got three cards on the field. Or he's kind of. He's attempting to have three cards on the field. And uh, for those of you who are, you know, pretty well versed in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know what's going to happen. But for those of you who don't, we could be screwed if he actually pulls this off. Which is possible. If he gets a card that can destroy my Witch's Apprentice, we're done. Like, that's game over. Ooh, but now I have the Unhappy Maiden. I'll defend with it for now. Since I think a lot of his cards are fiend type, my unhappy maiden should destroy it. Revival jam. Oh dang, son. Yeah, we're screwed. Revival jam, fifteen hundred attack points. It and it can duplicate just like our other card. So what we want to do here is we're gonna sacrifice our witch's apprentice to summon this because this thing can actually take down a revival jam. But now he has three on the field and I'm kind of scared. Oh thank God. Okay, ooh, and we got Magical Hat. Okay, things are turning around here. We want to destroy that Revival Jam. That's like, priority number one. Okay. <coughs> can we see how many cards he has in his hand? Yes, we can. Four. Hmm. Defend. And then just Annihilate. Alright, so we got two heavy hitters on our field right now. So we're doing pretty good. The Durdeck. Okay, sweet, and then we got this guy. Which we can activate his effect, duplicate him. Cool. Alright, things are definitely turning around for us in this match. Um, I was afraid there for a second, because he did have three cards set up. Alright, next week we should probably sacrifice this guy, bring out that, and we can just uh, go ballistic, and go ham. Alright, uh, yeah, but the way we're going, like, we're going kind of fast in this game, so, uh, Toadmaster and Frog in the jam, hmm. See, his deck is kind of based around summoning more monsters to the field, because he needs three to activate his, like, ultimate ability, I guess you could say. But I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. Um, I'll fill you guys in on what that is later. Um, because we will actually be able to use that ability to our advantage later on anyway. So, But right, what was I saying? Um, yeah, but, but how fast we're going right now, we might actually be able to finish this in not even that many more episodes, really. Um, <clears throat> ooh, Revival Jam. That's a great card. But yeah. <coughs> Definitely, we want to um, keep going through here. I don't know. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, we're, we're going to. We're, we're doing pretty good. We're making good time. All right. <clears throat> now, here is where the game gets tough. Bam. Make go tsunami just wipe the floor with uh, Joey, which doesn't happen in the anime. Uh, Joey wins. Right. Okay. So Mako tsunami. He is <clears throat> our first like crazy like difficulty spike opponent. First, I want to go to some places else, some other places actually, real quick, just to see if there's anything I've, because like there are some kind of like special events that you can like run into if you're at the right place at the right time, and I don't know if I found all of them. I, I know there's one in particular you can like miss easily, but <clears throat> welcome. 
Find selection. Let's buy. Right. So what's our duelist level actually? Let me check that real quick. We are at a 152. Okay. We're a lot higher than I thought we were. <coughs> Let's buy some stuff. <coughs> 152, huh? You can get this. Not bad. Alright. 152. Right, right, right. We're about to fight Mako Tsunami. I gotta think about what we what we have to do here. Okay, we're fighting Mako Tsunami. So we want water and lightning type. Uh, or aqua and lightning. These are all light. Light and thunder or whatever. It's totally different. That's what we want. Because Mako is difficult. And this is what I'm talking about. You have to kind of customize your deck um, for specific opponents. And this would be our first one. Like this, this is a good card. It's got 10 defense, 8 attack. Um, <clears throat> Thunder? Ooh, yeah. Give me a Lala Yoon. Because, um, yeah. Thunder type cards and water type cards, uh, when we play against Mako, get a <clears throat> boost. They get a uh, attack boost, so. This is a pretty good card. That's a good card, too. We don't have that kind of money, though. Or that kind of ability. He's a good guy. Okay. Yeah, this is just a lot of me buying the right cards we need to win. This is probably a good card. Uh, we could attempt to put that in our deck. We're not going to get to all of these, like we're not going to use all of these in our deck, but we're going to just get a good abundance so we're ready. Spell cards can be useful, but meh. More or less, they're just meh. Swords of Revealing Light can be good. Thunder? Nah, that's not going to help us at all. We need more like basic thunders. <clears throat> that can just like yeah like this guy yeah that's a strong one okay we have him in our deck Ugh, just trying to fumble through all these cards trying to find the right ones that will help us on our journey to destroy Mako Ooh, wait what was that thunder ooh yeah give me one of those. I just uploaded the first episode of this today, actually. So, uh, I can't wait to see how that goes down. We could get one of these. Um, yeah. <coughs> Alright. I think we're good for now. We could get some more, like, ritual-ish cards, but... <coughs> Wait, hang on. Right, yeah, whatever. We're good. Let's just start building a deck now. Um, right. Let's start taking out some cards we don't need anymore. Like this guy, we can take out. Um, Key Mask of Darkness. We're taking out one of him, because we will be exchanging some of these 1,000 attackers for stronger 1,000 attackers. Like this guy we need. We'll need this guy. Put in... Ooh. I need to take out... Some more cards. Yeah, let's take out that other magical hat. We don't need him right now. So we can add another one of these guys in. To get to the bottom of the list here. So I can get rid of all my other guys. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this thing. And this thing. I gotta watch, I have to watch my deck capacity, because I might be going over my limits here, if I'm not careful. This guy was good. This is a good one. Ooh, we're over deck capacity, see what I mean? 
This one? Yeah, alright, cool. <clears throat> uh, we've got a pretty solid, like, thing going here. Um... Might have to get rid of some of our other ones just to add, like... We can get rid of him to add in this one. Like, do stuff like that. Also, Thunder Creatures destroy Aqua Creatures instantly, so... Obviously, that's good. Revival Jam. We can add him in our deck later. He gets... He, he, he actually comes in handy quite a bit later on. Alright, I think our deck looks pretty good. Let's go save at our house, and then... We will be on our way to the next match, right? <clears throat> right. Alright, well, I think we'll actually take that care of uh, Mako Tsunami area uh, next episode, because we've got quite an abundance of matches ahead of us. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.